Thailand is renowned as the world's largest haven for ladyboys. Perhaps no other country accepts and respects ladyboys as much as Thailand. For that reason, they contribute significantly to the popularity of red light districts in Pattaya and Bangkok, attracting a large number of tourists to experience Thailand's second kind of woman. Coming to the Golden Pagoda Land, you will encounter them everywhere, on the streets, in bars, bakeries, even some Thai models, actors, and singers are ladyboys. Especially in Thailand, there are famous ladyboy shows that are a must-see for any tourist. Kathoe dancers will perform fashion shows, sing, and dance at popular tourist destinations, such as Pattaya, Phuket, and Bangkok, contributing significantly to the success of Thai tourism. Thailand is known worldwide as the go-to place for gender reassignment surgeries, thanks to its welcoming attitude towards the transgender community. The affordability of these procedures has made Thailand a popular destination for those seeking to transition. Ladyboys are a big draw for tourists, but telling them apart from cisgender women can be tricky. Many transgender women look incredibly feminine after surgery. However, there are a few subtle clues that you might notice. Remember, everyone deserves respect, regardless of their gender identity. Transitioning is a personal and often challenging journey, and empathy is crucial. Today, let's join My Wonder Channel to explore some common physical characteristics that may help differentiate between transgender women and cisgender women. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more exciting videos from the My Wonder Channel in the future. One, voice. The voice is the first and most noticeable feature of a ladyboy. Prior to vocal surgery, the voice is typically deeper and more masculine, often described as gravelly. Even after extensive gender-affirming surgeries, which can significantly alter other physical features, the voice may remain a distinguishing characteristic. This is because vocal cords, the primary instrument of speech, require specialized surgical procedures to modify their pitch and tone. Two hands. If these stunning beauties choose to remain silent, how can we recognize them? This brings us to the second method, observing their hands. Hands can be a dead giveaway. Guys usually have bigger hands with more defined knuckles. Transgender women, even after extensive gender-affirming surgeries, may retain these masculine hand features. That's why you'll sometimes see them wearing gloves. Generally, men have larger hands compared to women. However, in rare cases where a ladyboy might have unusually small palms, further observation can help. When in doubt, you can gently hold her hand and check if her skin feels as smooth as most women's. Another thing to look for is the length of their fingers. If their ring finger is longer than their index finger, there's a good chance they were born a guy. Three, Adam's apple guys usually have a bigger bump in their throat called an Adam's apple. It's caused by the thyroid cartilage, which is bigger in men. Even if a transgender woman takes hormones, the Adam's apple might still be there. Some people get surgery to make it smaller or remove it completely, but you might still see a little bump. To spot an Adam's apple, check someone's neck from the side. If you see a bump, especially when they swallow, it could be an Adam's apple. But remember, not all guys have a big one, and some girls might have a small bump. Four, height. Transgender women, or Kathy, tend to be taller than the average Thai woman. If an individual appears significantly taller than those around them, it could be a potential indicator. The average height of Thai women is 157.3 centimeters, about five feet, two inches while the average height of Thai men is 167.5 centimeters, approximately four inches taller. You can also try a little trick. Ask her to stretch her arms out straight and try to touch her elbows together without bending her arms. If she can do it easily, she's probably a girl. If not, she might be a lady boy. Five, broad shoulders and narrow hips. Women generally have narrower shoulders and wider hips, whereas ladyboys often exhibit broad shoulders and narrow hips. 
ladyboys often have broader shoulders than most girls. This is because guys usually have more muscle in their shoulders. Also, guys' shoulders tend to slope forward a bit, while girls' shoulders slope back, but not always, so it's not a perfect rule. The shape of your hips can also be a clue. Girls usually have wider hips compared to their waist. Ladyboys might have hips that are more like a guy's, but it depends on how much hormone therapy they've had, which can make them stand out in certain situations, such as in public restrooms or on the street in revealing outfits. If someone has a really small waist and wide hips, like an hourglass figure, they're more likely to be a woman. But remember, everyone's body is different, so it's not always easy to tell. Six, breast size one. Notable feature of most ladyboys is their typically large breast size. But here's the thing, those big boobs might not be real and not always be entirely natural. You can usually tell if someone's had a boob job by looking at their body. If their boobs look too big for their body, they're probably fake. Seven, legs, feet, and ankles. The walking style of men and women often differs, and this can be another indicator to spot a ladyboy. In Thailand, transgender women frequently wear high heels or wedges that are at least three inches tall and sometimes even higher. They also tend to wear open toe shoes, making their toes visible from a distance. Transgender women often have long, curved toes. Feminine transgender women typically have long, slender legs with a modest amount of muscle. While some cisgender women may have hair on their legs, transgender women often have less hair on their lower legs and ankles. Additionally, their ankles are often smaller and more delicate, although this is not always the case. Eight, body hair on legs and arms. Guys usually have more hair on their arms and legs, and it's often thicker. Nine, bold makeup. Ladyboys often wear heavy makeup with dark eyeshadow and bright red lipstick. It's kind of like a classic drag queen look. The dramatic combination of dark eyes and vivid lips creates a striking and unique aesthetic that distinguishes their personal style. 10. Facial features. When observing facial features, start by examining the eyes. Ladyboys often have larger, rounder eyes compared to other Thai women. Their pupils tend to appear bigger and their eyelids are thicker with dark eyeshadow accentuating the shape of their eyes. Next, look at the eyebrows. Ladyboys usually have thick, meticulously groomed, and often heavily made up, or tattooed, eyebrows. They also tend to apply more makeup to their eyebrows compared to other Thai women. In contrast, women's eyebrows are typically higher and have more space between the eyes and the brows. Additionally, men usually have a higher hairline than women. Male foreheads often feature a prominent brow ridge above the eyebrows, whereas women generally have smoother, flatter foreheads. If you notice someone with these traits, it's likely that they might be transgender. 11. Playing with their hair. Transgender women often play with their hair, a behavior that stems from being unaccustomed to longer hairstyles or feeling a bit self-conscious about it. This frequent habit can be a subtle giveaway. 12th attitude. Ladyboys are known for their friendliness, generosity, and willingness to help others. They often greet people warmly with radiant smiles, making them stand out for their approachable demeanor. An important distinction is their posture. Transgender women tend to walk with their back straight and head held high, exuding confidence, whereas biological women often hunch slightly or lower their heads when walking or sitting. Additionally, Ladyboys may display an exaggeratedly feminine style in their gestures and mannerisms, further emphasizing their identity. 13. Location. Knowing the local hotspots can also help identify transgender individuals, especially in cities like Bangkok, Pattaya, and Phuket. For instance, in Pattaya, Soy 6 is famous for bars featuring female escorts, while Soy 6 slash 1, just a few feet away, is well known for its ladyboy bars. Checking city maps and talking to locals before exploring nightlife areas can provide valuable insights into the specific venues and demographics in those regions. 14. Ask for identification. 
None of the methods mentioned above are foolproof. They are all subjective and may vary depending on the individual. The only definitive way to know is to request their ID card. In Thailand, all ID cards are in both Thai and English. You can politely ask to see their ID, perhaps by saying you need to verify their age, and the information provided will give you a clear answer. Final note. Lastly, like the locals, always treat transgender women with respect. They are human beings and deserve to be treated as such. If you're not interested in engaging with them, simply decline politely, just as you would with a cisgender woman. Avoid any arguments or confrontations, as this could lead to unpleasant outcomes and ruin your vacation. Respect and understanding go a long way in fostering a positive experience. Today's video ends here. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below to let me know if you liked this video. Please share the love and give it a thumb up as well as hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update from us. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.